Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV and we are covering the block ALV. We discussed the purpose of block ALV is to display the multiple list in the output. And as a part of that, we started with the practical and in the last two videos, we finished with the practical part. We fetch the data from the various tables, VBAK, VBAP. We prepare the field catalogs. Then we simply call this three function module. One to initialize, one to append and one to display. Now what I will do, I will simply put the breakpoint and we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So I will put a breakpoint on the first executable statement. This is our first query. I will run. Suppose I will give the sales order number one to five. I will go for execute. System will enter into the debugging mode. Now this is our input. This is our input one to five. This one to five will go to VBELN column of VBAK. It will fetch the data of these five column and data will come into this internal table. As of now, zero record, five column. I am doing F6. Now you can see into this internal table, we have five records. We have sales order number one to five and we have the data of five columns. Now this if condition is true because internal table is not initial miss, is not null, is not blank. Yes, we have five records into this internal table. So this this if condition true. Now we are fetching the data from VBAP table. Data will come into this internal table for all entries in first internal table. Yes for all entries in first internal table. And what will be the input? First internal table VBELN. So what is first internal table VBELN? This is first internal table VBELN. It means one, two, three, four, five. It will be a input for which particular column VBELN of VBAP table. It will fetch the data of these three columns and data will come into this internal table. As of now, this internal table has zero record, three column. I'm doing F6. Now you can see into this internal table, we have seven records because this is item table. So we have two records, three records of this two sales order number and one, one record of other sales order number. Now we are preparing the field catalog. This is your first field catalog internal table and this is your second field catalog internal table. As of now, both have zero, zero records. Now it will simply append one by one. Firstly, first record is going to work area. Now we have first record into work area. From work area, it will go to internal table. Now you can see we have first record. Everything is there, whatever we passed. Column position one, VBELN. This is our internal table. And we pass the label, sales document number. Now we will go for second. Now we are going for second to the work area. Now second is appended to internal table. This is our second. Now it will go for third. Now ERZET, now third record appended to internal table, we have the third record, ERZET. Now it will go to fourth record. Now fourth record is in the internal table, now we have fifth record. So our first field catalog internal table is ready. Now you can see we have five internal table VBAK. And we provided the text through the text symbols. So our first internal table is ready field catalog internal table. Now it's a turn for the second field catalog internal table. Now we are appending first. 
So this is our first second field catalog internal table. Column position one, B, B, E, L, N. And this is our label. This is our label. Now it will go to second record. Now we have second record is appended now. So now you can see we have second record. If I will go to the left, second record. Now we have it done for the third record. So we have third record into this second field catalog internal table. Done. If I will go for the right, these are our labels. Now we are going for steps. So firstly, we are initializing the block output. And you can see what is Cyrep ID. It is the same name of our program. This is our name of the program or report. You can pass hard code also, but best way is always use the system variable. So I call firstly this function module to initialize the block output. Now we are appending the ALBs one by one. Now you can see this is our first ALB data. This is our first field catalog ALBs. So now we are passing to this particular function module. So it will append the first ALV to the block, to the block output. Now I am doing F6 because there's no need to go inside the function module. You can see size sub RC0. It means first ALV successfully appended. Yes. Now we will go for second ALV. Now we are passing the data of second ALV, second remains seven records. This is our field catalog for second ALV, yes. Now, if I will simply do F6 with the help of this function module, now we are appending the second ALV to block output. You can see size sub RC0, it means second ALV also successfully appended. Now, in the last step, we need to simply, simply display now, if I will do F6, now you can see this is our first block of ALV. This is our second block of ALV. This data is from VBAK table. This data is from VBAP table. As of now, we have not displayed the multiple ALVs and we achieved this with the help of block concept or we can say block ALV. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode. We simply saw the output of the queries. After that, we simply saw the field catalog internal table. And then we see these three function modules and everything is perfectly fine. So this is all about the concept of block ALB, which is used to display multiple lists in the output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.